Good evening, everyone. Salut tout le monde qui est déjà branché. Moi, je dis que je suis content de vous parler. Et il y a tout le monde qui est déjà là. Je vais vous parler aujourd'hui pour une étude très importante. Et nous uh, prions à Dieu pour nous pouvoir nous rejoindre aujourd'hui. So first, before we get started, let's do the prayer, and then we'll get started. <clears throat> Father in heaven, we Lord, we thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for bringing us here to study. Please, Lord, be with us now. Your holy angel, watch for us as we study. Pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so uh, let me want to welcome you all. Uh, et que let me encourage the brethren that's already with us online. Let me encourage all of us um, to uh, not forget that we have to study, study more, more and more. When we look at when we look at um, the uh, political landscape of things, uh, you know, things are getting worse. And, um, you know, no time where if you told somebody that there would be a Sunday law, they would probably laugh you, laugh at you or laugh you off. But now we can see it, Saints. We, we can see it. People are uh, positioning or asking for it. People are saying that we need to go back to God now. So uh, we're living in, in uh, a very interesting time. You know, the time that we you and I are living in, this is a time where prophets in the Bible, they, they, they wanted a vision of our days, and they wanted to be part of it. But it wasn't meant for them to be part of the, of the days or the last days when Jesus actually will be coming through the clouds. But you and I... We have this opportunity to get privilege for being able to be part of the generation that will be able to 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 to be to be able to be to et c'est vraiment important. Et un titre The Size of the Family. Chapter 24, that we're looking at tonight. Plat de chapitre 24, qui titre The Size of the Family. La dimension de la famille. So, très important, j'aime bien dire, nous, l'étude ça, elle est censée, son étude est essentielle pour tout le monde, soit qui est petit qui pour gagner, qui a un plan pour gagner. So, this is very important. Parce que nous allons et qui conseille, bon Dieu, par nous sur ce que fait la famille. What is the counsel that God has given us? So, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it and we'll see exactly what he has to say, okay? So, we'll start it here. Uh, It says, a grievous wrong among children and society. It says, there are parents who, without consideration as to whether or not they can do justice to a large family, fill the homes with these little, with these helpless little beings who are fully dependent upon their parents for care and instruction. So, they dit que again, plus parents, sans que vous préoccupé de comment vous allez pouvoir avoir besoin et si vous êtes censé mettre vous dans le monde, mais vous ne pouvez pas penser. Donc, la première chose, nous devons penser à ce que nous devons avoir des enfants, nous devons penser à ce que nous devons avoir des enfants. Parce que ces enfants dépendent de nous. Ils sont helpless. Helpless can help themselves, but they totally depending on us. So, it's uh, very important for you to make a choice. You 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 make a 
uh, how are we going to take care of these little ones? It says, this is, a, uh, this is a grievous wrong, not only to the mother, but to her children in society. C'est un grand mal, non seulement pour la mère, mais aussi pour les enfants et la société. À qui ça peut être un grand mal là, parce que on sait que les petits mounois qui les viennent là, il y a des délais, il y a des plus belles problèmes à la société. Hein. C'est parce que on ne peut pas poser des questions, ça. Because you need to be able, we, you and I, we need to be able to take care of our family before we go uh, and start having them. We need to make plans. We need to come together, talk to your spouse, and see, you know, au lieu nous, parce que nous, on est dans la société haïtienne, non? Il faut qu'il y ait un à mettre sur le monde. Il faut qu'il y ait un pressure, il faut qu'il y ait des bons mondes mariés, ou alors, il faut qu'il y ait un monde. Oui, nous savons ça. La société haïtienne a toujours bien ça. Alors, il continue pour le dire. Les parents devraient toujours avoir en vue le bien futur de l'enfant. Ils ne devraient pas être contraints d'employer tout le temps à un travail épuisant pour su- subvenir aux nécessités de la vie. It says, parents should, should always bear in mind the future, the future good of the children. They should not be compelled to devote every hour taxing the neighbor in order to provide the, the necessaries of life. So, très important. Si nous connaissons les noirs we have that issue where you know, have parents working, working. Why? Because they have to provide for the family. And always you want to provide with this again. But you uh, obligé to make more. You obligé to work more. Why? Because you have a family. Uh, for you put in mind the future good uh, uh, of the children. Okay? So, we mm-hmm. decided to make the children. We think, okay, well, you know, how can we educate the You know, how can we do this? How can we do this? It's important. So, we think that we can do this. So we need to bear these things in mind when we are um, talking about these things to our spouse. Okay? Let's continue. Let's continue to say, avant de son, avant de songer à agrandir la famille, il devrait se demander à, à si Dieu serait glorifié ou non par la puissance de ses enfants. That's a very important. Read this in English. If before increasing the family, they should take into consideration whether or not or whether God would be glorified or dishonored by the bringing children into the world. So, avant que moi même ensemble avait décidé pour nous mener un petit monde ou bien pour nous faire un petit monde, faut que nous posions peut-être nos questions ça. Est-ce que le fait que mon ça, est-ce que ça glorifie bon Dieu? Hmm. Parce que si nous mettons le problème, nous allons bailler. Ça nous est déjà que vous levez au bien. Vous comprenez? Swago. We don't know how. And I have another one. You know, you have to ask us. Est-ce que vraiment nous glorifions la glorifier mon Dieu ce que nous ajoutons l'autre? Il dit, il dit, they should glorify God by the union for first and every year. So let's marier. Um, nous sommes appelés pour nous garder, pour nous voir comment pour nous glorifier, bon Dieu. So, dans la na, na vie conjugale, nous, okay, nous c'est pour nous glorifier, bon Dieu, dans tout ça que nous fait. So, si que nous décidons de nous bring a little one into this world, it must be for the glory of God. It must be for his glory. Very important, saints. 
This is very important. And, you know, a lot of decisions are going to be made. We are going to be made. Moving forward, we can make educated decisions. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I think I had uh, a slide that was not supposed to be in here. Okay, continue. With um, health is important. Okay, health de l'état de santé de la mère. En raison de la responsabilité qui repose sur les parents, ceci devrait sérieusement demander s'il est opportun pour eux, pour eux. L'état de santé de la mère permettra-t-il d'en prendre soin ou permettra-t-il qu'on dise pour les doter et la situation de l'homme? In view of the responsibility that devolves upon parents, so proposed education would demand to the family, has one to care for you. Excuse me, Madam Nage, I ask you to give such advantages as still rightly mold and educate so we don't need to ask ourselves these questions and we need to um, say, you know what? Is it for the glory of God if I bring another child to this world? Or am I doing it because other people are going to need to do it? Mm-hmm. I do it because I see others doing it. And my point pressure will be because we give them parfois pour marier, bon Dieu qu'on bail au tien. À cause parfois mon comme pressure. Bon Dieu, why do I have to have one? Look, remember, it's make sure that if we have one, it's for the good. Ask yourself, are you able to take care of the little one right now? Okay. Très important pour que vous posiez une question sur la question de la Qui n'a pas fait de mes mistakes sans ça? La préoccupation majeure est de satisfaire la passion et de se faire, et de se faire on épouse à l'époux chose qui mine sa vitalité et affaiblit sa vitalité. This is important. Maintenant, on regarde les importances qui viennent pour l'état de santé. Okay. The gratification of the gratification is the only part. And burdens are brought upon the wife and mothers which undermine her vitality and her So, it's pour nous faire des décisions, ça a, pour nous faire des décisions. Parfois, c'est parce que nous simplement et de n'oublier qui qui a des burdens, ok, qui a des fardeaux pour le mettre sous et sous et pour le moment. Parce que, you know, à la but uh, you can see later on, go forward, you see sometimes the mother, uh, when they make decisions, they don't have to pay. For me now. Le renseignement requis 
dans des conditions qui les entraîneront à désonner les dieux et transmettre à eux les défauts de la nature. C'est ainsi que c'est ainsi que se forme, excuse-moi, c'est ainsi que se forme toute une multitude de personnes que Satan manie à sa guise. All right. Uh, uh, let me know. Uh, I know uh, somebody told me that my voice was cutting off. Please let me know now. Text, send a message, a private message or something. Let me know if you can hear me clearly now, okay? So he says, <clears throat> lacking the instruction they should have, they grow up to dishonor God, okay? It says, um, they, they, they grow up to dishonor God and to communicate to others the evil of their own natures, and thus an army is raised up whom Satan manage as he pleases. Wow! Wow, this is amazing. This is, man, you see, so it says, L'heure que nous faisons par un cap fait monio, ok? Nous faisons et puis nous pas en mesure pour que nous capables et instruire selon, nous pas en mesure pour nous instruire selon Dieu, ok? So ça vient arriver, ça vient arriver qu'on y a là, nous venons, si nous ça on a fait, c'est comme si nous dégageons son, on l'a amené à créer pour Satan. Wow. So, you and I, first, we need to be able, uh, uh, we need to be able to uh, raise these children in sagesse and in statue. That means to raise our children in the If we're not equip, equipping ourselves, we're not reading the books, we're not doing nothing, we're not studying for us to know how to raise the children, and then we do it. It says, it says, we don't receive the enseignment of the children you are supposed to receive. It says, we grow up and we are capable of dishonoring the Lord. And not only we are dishonoring the Lord, we are communicating to all L'autre bagaille mauvais défaut de nature que vous gagnez, il y a communiqué à l'autre timon. Ce qu'on a ça vient arriver, ça s'en vient gagner, ça s'en sente venir, ça s'en vient gagner, multitude, son multitude de vient gagner qu'on a pour faire salve. That's why you see all these troubles in the in the world right now. You know, kids are going to school and just shooting other other people. I mean, why? Why are they doing these things? It comes back to the instruction that they had received at home, okay, or, or, or lack thereof. Um, but the key is, saints, if if we are going to have a child, we need to make sure that we are not raising an army for Satan. And I don't want my kids to be part of Satan's army, and I'm sure. So it's very important, saints. Le mari et père devraient autre facteur à considérer. Le mari et père devraient de, devraient réfléchir à tout. Le mari et père ou le mari et mère? Le mari et père devraient réfléchir à tout cela pour que sa femme ne soit pas surchargée et de se faire accabler par le découragement. The husband and the father should consider all these things, lest the wife and mother of his children be overtaxed and thus overwhelmed with the uh, despondency. You see, this is very important. And pumun ki happen vin jwen nou, ki happen mouti sou lin nou. E sa na peti di aswa, ap gade the size of the family. Et notez où est le commencement, il dit que si, euh, faut que tout ça n'a fait le nous marier, il faut nous faire le bougre à bon Dieu. Il dit qu'il y a des gens qui choisissent pour mener des gens dans le monde, là, pour faire des gens, côté que eux même ils n'ont pas d'instruction pour être pas, comment ils lever des gens dans le bien. Donc maintenant, ils veulent lever, ils lever des gens, et puis ils veulent garder les gens, et puis qu'on y a ça, ils veulent l'armée pour faire le travail. Donc, 
les 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 tout comme un lien important pour nous pour nous pour nous considérer santé madame là pour nous considérer les liens importants pour nous considérer santé madame là parce que il dit madame là car il y a un découragement ça le dit là il dit Marie et papa nous il doit considérer toute bagarre ça et si ça madame là a over tax a bien surchargé et ça il est quand même venu de décourager ça veut dire et l'organe timonio faut que nous mettons nous ensemble pour nous dire well if we're gonna have a child if we're gonna have a child then well we, this is how we need to raise them this is what we need to do mais comment on a éduqué lui ok mais qui s'en a besoin pour nous parler il faut garder des situations économiques ou tout nous parlons de sa vie devant situation économique là parler de compter tout parce que j'aime tout là il y a plusieurs monde qui prend en pression surtout pas ici on va mon pression on comprend le rien by mon pressure euh connait que wow tel monde gagne faut ça gagne tout oh ou même look you can't go by pressure it says before you do that you need to ask to see if you're gonna bring a child into the world it must be for the glory of god not because i want another one or not because you want one or not because this person want to no you must do it for the glory of God. C'est ça nous te voir dans commencement étude là, OK? So si n'a décidé ça et ça brothers and sisters, it must be for the glory of God. Il fera en sorte qu'elle ne soit pas placée dans des conditions qui l'empêcheraient de prendre soin de ses nombreux enfants et de leur donner une éducation convenable. Now, now we we looking at some factors that we need to consider when we decided to have children okay these are some other factors that we need to consider when we decide to have children okay or whether we decide to have more children parce que gien moun ki pa gien même gien moun ki gien déjà okay so you parle à tout monde it, it says he about the maria should see to it that the mother of his children is not placed in a position where she cannot possibly do justice to her numerous little ones that they that they have no well that they have to come up without proper training so il dit faut que nous considérer ça tout parce que nous va vle gen timoun yo nous gen pour yo a lever sans une éducation convenable so all these things tout bagay ça nous besoin considérer faut nous n'en mesure côté que nous capable bay timoun nan une éducation Keep on doing that. Well, proper training. Now, you and I, as parents, we need to be able to give them before we even think about uh, um, having the children. Okay. Les parents devraient veiller à ne pas s'accroître leur famille à un rythme incompatible avec les possibilités qu'ils ont d'entreprendre soin et de lui donner l'instruction adéquate. C'est d'ailleurs porter un grave préjudice à une mère que, que l'obliger à mettre au monde un enfant chaque année. Uh, let me read that in English. It says, parents should not increase the families any faster than, the, than they know that their children can be well cared for and educated. You see, there's a balance. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that you're getting the balance as we're reading this. See, so far we have not seen anywhere where she says she gives you any numbers. She, you know, God is not giving us any numbers of children to have. One, one, that's the balance. There's no number. Uh, rather, what she's saying, she's saying you should not decide to have children any faster than you know how to take care of them so if you know how to educate them you already have a plan you know how this is how i'm going to do it this is how they're going to be educated this is how we're going to take care of them then it's okay okay because there's a balance here it says a child in the mother's arm from year to year is great injustice to her okay so a child in the mother's arms from year to year is a great injustice to her so you and I, we need to be, keep these things in mind, okay? Le nous, en tant que Marie et Madame, le nous avons décidé de nous faire des décisions, okay? Parce que, bon Dieu, mettez le clé pour que moi, moi, ça m'arrête, faut que nous gagnions plein 
comment nous pas take care those little ones parce qu'il dit tout à l'heure nous pas voulez faire tout monde pour que c'est Satan n'a aidé côté que tout monde ça au Satan pour faire ça et là avec eux parce que il pas gain il pas recevoir en éducation convenable they didn't receive the proper training and then now they become part of Satan's army we do not want that saints we don't want that all right so this is some balance councils that we're getting tonight and i praise the lord for that now bon mes conseils que le parle il y a bail à une famille qui gagne un pile de monde a large family okay this is counsel to parents of a large family conseil aux parents d'une famille nombreuse vous devez vous devriez vous poser la question Est-ce que je lève mes enfants pour qu'ils la croissent influence de la puissance des ténèbres et renforce les rangs de son armée ou est-ce que je les forme pour le Christ That is a question that we should be ask, we all should be asking ourselves, right? The question is to be the question the question to be settled by you is this. Am I raising a family of children to strengthen the the influence and and swell the ranks of the powers of darkness or am I bringing up children for Christ? That's what we need to be asking ourselves. Pour cette question, est-ce que ti moun sa yo ki ou fò fè ou bien ti moun sa ki ou fè? Est-ce que ou ap leve fami la pou ke yo al fè travay Satan ou bien ou ap leve pour le faire travail Jésus-Christ that's the key that's very important that's the counsel that we're getting so far notice notice nous beaucoup j'aime lire là aucun côté qui dit on va faire un petit monde faut prendre ça on l'autre monde a dit c'est l'autre monde n'a pas dit mais il est pour faire un ah ou beaucoup gagne même non besoin on ah non you see this is not the counsel that we're getting the counsel is we need to make sure if we bring in it's not many on timon na monza et bien nous fait pour gloire bon dieu et ne fait que timon ça pas lever pour venir pour venir un problème pour société pour marcher bail problème hein we don't want to do that si vous ne parvenez pas à les à les diriger et à modeler leur caractère de telle manière qu'ils répondent aux exigences de dieu Alors moins vous aurez alors moins alors moins vous aurez d'enfants pour souffrir des lacunes de l'éducation que vous leur aurez donné mieux cela vaudra à la fois pour eux pour vous parents et pour la société All right so in case somebody is wondering where what are we reading from Napoli foi chrétien chapitre 24 Okay, Adventist Home chapter 24. That's what we're reading in case somebody is wondering. Okay? It says if you do not go, uh, uh, govern your children and mold their characters to meet the requirements of God, then the fewer children there are to suffer from your de- defective training, the better it will be for you, the parents, and the better it will be for society. Wow. Wow. Do you see this? Wow, saints, I, this is a rebuke to me. I feel like, man, it says, "Sou pas capable for me character to be no bien." The ni pi bon pou pa gen an pil, parce que the more you have, c'est plus ti moun ka wal soufwi from your defective training. And la pi bon ni pou ki pa an, et la pi bon vous société an you know only if the, the the only if the church of god the, the the god's people only if we listen to these things and we read them and we heed them on pile problème parfois nous nous pas dans yo so on dit que sous qu'on va pas gouverner sous qu'on va pas gouverner petit ou bien so la parle ni à moun qui gagne plan pour gagner tout monde ni moun qui gagne déjà ça parle à tout monde si que au pack ou qu'on n'est pas capable gouverner tout monde bien il y a plusieurs facteurs qui dans maison qui peut être faut pas gouverner tout monde bien bon bon nous quelques exemples qui ca cause ou pas lever tout monde bien faut à maman maman à maman faut que nous n'en même pas ça c'est un nous pas capable argue devant tout monde 
ça là là si on fait ça ça c'est problème et tout ou pas rebuke you cannot rebuke each other in front of the child either ou pas ka reprimander reprimander yon lot devant ti moun si pa yon fait un bagay ki mal faut kou ou pa la lot avec lot conjoint et pa ou pa ka fè sa devant ti moun kon a pou lot conjoint kon a pou la présenter excuse devant ti ti moun nan so si que tout toujours gen argument nan kay lan ça va affecter ti moun nan ça ça affecter ti moun nan so li fè il di nou ke si que nou konnen nou pa ka nou pa an mezu pou nou bay ti moun yo bon pou nou former karakter ti moun yo jan bon dieu vle an den et puis on pas faire parce que l'on fait ce problème il pas dans la société hein et ni ou même tout le plus bon pour vous tout parce que vous même ou pas un bon training pour bailler tout le monde sur le plus bon sur pas gagner et la plus bon pour société hein man man this is this is serious uh this is very serious for us parents and for those qui peut-être bien plan pour vous gagner tout le monde dans le futur ça vraiment sérieux hein c'est pour nous penser que The, 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 he says, the, 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 then the fewer children there are to suffer from your defective training, the better it will be for you. Wow. Wow. Saints, I know you have questions, but we'll talk about your questions in a, in a little bit. Not point question in a moment. Let me finish with chapter là, not point question. All right, I'll continue. Lee? À moins qu'il ne puisse à moins qu'ils ne puissent être éduqués et disciplinés dès leur enfance pour une mère judicieuse et sage, intelligente et consciencieuse qui les dirige dans la crainte du Seigneur, qui façonne leur caractère et le rende conforme au modèle de justice. C'est un péché d'en accroître le, le nombre. Dieu vous a gratifié d'une raison et il exige que vous vous en serviez. Wow. You know, je parle jamais je le m'appelle livre ça me noue que gagne tout bel conseil ça comme ça on cap fait tout monde ou bien pour monde qui gagne plan pour faire tout monde ou bien monde qui euh monde qui t'en gagne déjà pas connait si tu gagne bel conseil ça ou. You know, I say thank thank God for these counsels. Let me read this because this is very serious. Saints This is serious. It says, unless children can be trained and disciplined from their babyhood by a wise and judicious mother who is conscientious and intelligent and who rules her household in the fear of the Lord, molding and shaping their characters to meet the standards of righteousness, it is a sin to increase your family. God has given you your given you reason and he requires you to use it. Oh saint. So si ou konn en tant que maman. Mam ki let me go back. En tant que maman. Ou pa ka lever ti moun nan depuis tout petit de 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 depuis nan enfance ti moun nan. Depuis l'an berceau ou konn ke ou pa on maman ki judicieuse, ki sage, ki intelligent et qui 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 a dirigé maison li nan très bon dieu sou konn on pa moun kon sa tande bien ça la di la OK if you know you are not you are a, a wife you are a wife but if you know you are not judicious you are not wise you are not intelligent pou lever ti moun nan très bon dieu li di pour ta former caractère ti moun nan pour capable conformer li a modèle justice bon dieu hein sou pa konnen ki ou pa ka fè sa li di it is a sin to increase the size of your family so li di li c'est un péché pour continuer pour e, fè ti moun nan si que ou même en tant que maman ou konnen ki ou pa an mezu pour 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 lever tout monde ça pour former caractère mais la mite mais oh lord saints when you take up when you think about these things you you know you like man lord please help us cuz cuz most of us we don't think about these things when we decide to have children we don't think about these things 
We think about, oh, well, yeah, I think I need one now. Yeah, I need one. You know? Or now I, I know I have one. You know, I think I need another one now. That, you know, we're not thinking about these things, saints. So, again, le bon Dieu vous conseille ça pour nous. Remember, we need to do like the, the like the, um, like the, uh, the, the Jews and the book of Acts chapter 2. Le pied fin fait présentation. You dit qui? The Bible says that they were pricked in their hearts. I think it's Acts chapter 3. It might be chapter 3. And they, they said, what shall we do? And then Paul, Pierre dit, oh, listen, just repent. Just repent de ce que fait pas bon. So, moi, moi, ça m'avait aussi que nous avons barré un affaire qui pas bon. Seulement, nous supposons repentir, le nouveau message, ça, c'est pas pour nous dire, well, et, et c'est point. Non, ça, c'est, c'est, look, le sou de prophétie, c'est pas d'en voir point. C'est pas point, la voie, le sou de prophétie, c'est pas d'en voir point. Bon Dieu, bah, nous lit, pour capable d'instruire nous. So, we need to heed, saints, we need to heed. Parents, puisque vous savez que votre manque de connaissance ne vous permet pas d'élever correctement vos enfants pour le service du maître, pourquoi ne tirez-vous pas le son qui en découle? Pourquoi continuez-vous à mettre des enfants au monde pour grossir les rangs de l'armée du Satan? Wow, this is so clear. Hey, you know, I thank God for the spirit of prophecy. This is so clear. Satan m'a clé. See, that's, the, that's what I like. When you read the Bible sometimes, you know, sometimes people say, well, this is what it means. Because we, we don't have the spirit of Christ. We don't have the spirit of discernment. Well, what so, si on ne pas accepter, that's why majorité on a plus le monde rejeté les sous de vos vies. Tout est trop clair. Parce que soit fait par bon, la médecine est claire, la dit, hey, this is wrong. Ou bah, there's no other way to read it. It's clear. It says, fathers and mothers, when you know that you are deficient, ça veut dire, ou pas, gain assez de connaissance, you are deficient in knowledge of how to raise, to train your children, for a master, why do you not learn your lesson? Why do you continue to bring children into the world to swell the numbers of Satan's rank? So, il dit nous supposons apprendre par mettre tout le monde dans le monde là pour enlarger l'armée Satan. We need to, to educate ourselves so that we be able to educate our children in the fear of God. Because that's what's key. You know, that's what's key. Bon Dieu, pas demander où est-ce que tu levé ti moun nan? Nan krète mwen. C'est ça seulement. That's the only thing. If you are able to do that, notice, she's not telling you not to have children. I, I, hope, I hope you see that. I hope you catch that. The spirit of prophecy is not telling us not to have children. It keep the emphasis is on you need to be equipped enough as parents, spiritually, to be able to Okay? So, you have to be equipped enough as a parent to be able to do that. Dieu prend-il plaisir à un tel spectacle? Lorsque vous vous rendez compte d'une nombreuse famille, Lorsque vous vous rendez compte qu'une nombreuse famille va, si, va considérablement entamer vos revenus, qu'elle va imposer de lourds fardeaux à la mer, et qu'entre toutes ces naissances, celle-ci ne dis, disposera pas de temps pour s'adonner normalement à toutes les activités qui lui, con, qui lui incombent, pourquoi ne songez-vous pas à ces résultats iné, inéluctables? Wow. Is God pleased with this showing? When you see that a large family will severely tax your resources, when you see that it is given the mother her hands full of children and that she has not time, well, that she has not time intervening between their birth to do the work every mother needs to do, why do you not consider the sure result? Very clear. 
very clear. Again, we need to count the cost. That's what it's telling us. We need to count the cost. Pas faire aucune décision sous émotion. Faut que ça nous fait décision nous fait Faut il y a un calcul et que bon Dieu a honoré la dame. Bon Dieu a honoré la dame. Chaque enfant qui naît affaiblit la vitalité de la maman et si les parents n'usent pas de leurs raisons en ce domaine, quel espoir ont-ils eux et leurs enfants d'apprendre à se discipliner. Le Seigneur leur demande d'examiner ce problème à la lumière des réalités futures et éternelles. Every child draws upon the vitality of the mother, and when fathers and mothers do not use the reason in this matter, what chance is given to parents or children to be properly disciplined? The Lord calls upon parents to consider this matter in the light of the future eternal realities. So now let's talk about uh, the uh, economic considerations. The consideration d'ordre économique. Pas oublier, ces décisions on va faire pour faire petit monde ou bien pour faire plus ou bien ou pour gagner pour faire yon. Ça c'est sont des considérations faut que nous quitter dans tête nous pour nous penser à où on a fait décision ça. Les parents doivent étudier sérieusement le problème de l'avenir de, leur enf- de leurs enfants. Ils n'ont pas le droit de mettre au monde des enfants qui deviendront un fardeau pour autrui. Yeah, that's, that's, that's tough to hear. That's tough. It says, parents should, com- uh, should calmly consider what provision can be made for the children. They have no right to bring children into the world to be burdens to others. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. It says, you can't go to the world and you can't go to the world and you can't go to the world. Yeah, sometimes we don't have time to go to the world. We don't have time to go to the world. We don't have cousin or whatever. Because we don't have time. We have to work. We don't have to go to the world. We don't have to go to the world. We don't have to go to the world. And even, even, even economic, we don't have to go to the world. It's tough. And then, and then it's the it's the, the the other people that you know that that can help, and even to know far those the saints. Oh man, I uh, I praise God for these councils. I praise God for these councils. On consideration d'ordre économique, ont-ils une situation? Ont-ils une situation leur permettant d'entretenir une famille qui de ce fait ne sera jamais en charge à quelqu'un d'autre? That's the question we should, we should be asking. Have, have, have they a business that they can rely upon? You have a business so that uh, they need not become a burden to others. We need to ask ourselves this question, you know, do we have sufficient uh, means, economically speaking, uh, so that we don't have a burden on the other people? If this n'est pas le cas, ils commettent un crime en permettant au monde des enfants qui ne recevront ni les soins, ni la nourriture, ni le vêtement dont ils ont besoin. If they have not, meaning if you don't have a job, you have no way, you have no means at all to take care of your children. It says they commit a crime in bringing children into the world to suffer for want of proper care, food and clothing. Ceux qui n'arrivent pas à assurer leur propre substance, subsistance ne devraient pas avoir d'enfants. Those who are not qualified to take care of themselves should not have children. So, if we cannot take care of our own selves, we should not have children. Very important. Very important. Now, le tout problème ça arrive qu'on y est là. Comment ça va affecter l'église? Now, this is important now. This is very important. Now, comment ça va affecter l'Église? How perplexity is sometimes brought into the church? Une cause éventuelle de problème pour l'Église. Bien que des de gens qui ont de la peine à vivre, célibataires, se décident à se marier et élever une famille, alors qu'ils savent fort bien qu'ils n'ont pas de 
quoi l'entretenir. Many who can but barely live when they are single choose to marry and raise a family when they know when they know that they have nothing with which to support them. Sometimes you're single, you know your uh, economic situation is not even good. You can you can barely uh, make ends meet, and then you decide to get married and have a chill, have a family. I mean, how are you gonna support them? That's what it's telling us here. So we need to think about how we're going to support them. Parce qu'il parle on on parle de pour l'église et nous parlons de comment. Ce qui est pire encore, c'est qu'ils ne savent pas diriger une famille. Tous leurs comportements se se ressent de leur habitude de négligence et de mollesse. Ils ont peu de contrôle sur eux-mêmes et sont emportés, impatients et irritables. Yeah, that is something that's for all of us, uh, saints. Ça, c'est pour nous toutes. They dit, and worse than this, they have no family government. The whole, cur- the whole course in their family is marked with the loose, slack habits. They have but little control over themselves and are passionate, impatient, and fretful. So irritable, fret for someone who is a little bit of a problem, a little bit of a impatient, you know, it's impatient, when you are impatient, you impatience, and it will impact your passion. Okay, that means that you are someone who is a little bit of a control, like, you don't have a control, like, if you are a little bit of a problem, you don't have a control, like, you don't have a control. That's, that's, that's what he is talking about. L'on consacre et nous venons petit monde. Ça c'est problème net. Problème, problème net, saint. Quand de telles personnes deviennent adventistes, elles pensent qu'elles, sont, qu'elles ont droit à l'assistance de leurs frères plus fortunés. Si l'on ne répond pas à leurs attentes, elles se plaignent de l'Église et l'accusent de ne pas vivre sa foi. Mais qui doit souffrir en pareil cas? Wow. wow. Saints, <laughs> it says, when such embrace the message, so they become Seventh-day Adventists, they feel that they are entitled to assistance from the more wealthy brethren. And if their expectations are not met, they complain of the church and accuse them of not living out their faith. Uh, who must be the sufferers in this case? So that's the issue. Il y a un petit monde, il va y connaître pas, mais il va y là, il fait un monde. Quand il y a là, il peut y avoir un adventiste, il pense que, ouais, comme moi, l'église, il faut que l'autre frère qui vient, il y a un aide. Là, il va y aider, quand il dit que, ouais, nous pensons que c'est chrétien, nous t'aider, nous ne va y aider, l'autre, c'est cela. Il dit, mais, qui est-ce qui suppose souffrir dans le cas ça? Let's see. L'œuvre de Dieu doit-elle être sapée à la base et les élec- élec- Hmm. Et les caisses vidées pour subvenir à l'entretien de ces familles nombreuses? Assurément non. Ce sont les parents qui doivent en supporter les conséquences. D'une façon générale, ils ne seront pas plus gênés qu'ils ne l'étaient avant de devenir des observateurs du sabbat. Wow. So, question she asked. A question. Must the cause of God be, snap, be sapped? In the treasury in different places exhausted to take care of these large families of, of poor? No. The parents must be the sufferers. They will not, as a general thing, suffer any greater lack after they embrace the Sabbath than they did before. So it's the same thing. So, à cause d'un problème, la famille ça va aider tête li. Maintenant, nous venons en faire de l'église là. La question est-ce que cause bon Dieu va supposer avancer pour tirer la famille ça? Il dit c'est pas un supposé souffrir. Now, I'm, you know, we, we, we must be balanced. We know she's not saying, well, now we we have a the license. If we know on 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 famille cap struggle, pour nous pas aider. This is not what she's talking about, okay? She's not saying if you know family is struggling. And then, you know, no sense of who on me is who who aid it. Who can one who on me is who aid it? Who can aid it? It's about you know we must all we must always help our brethren. You know, any way that we can. If God gives us an opportunity, no aid it, no aid it. Okay. Come, come on, we 
pour um, restreindre l'action missionnaire. Lorsqu'on se propose d'envoyer des missionnaires en pays lointain, il faudrait choisir des hommes qui savent pratiquer l'économie, qui n'ont pas la charge d'une nombreuse famille et qui, sachant qu'ils disposent de peu de temps pour accomplir une œuvre considérable, ne cherchez pas à s'entourer d'une nombreuse progéniture, comme une progéniture, ils s'efforcent de se libérer, ils s'efforceront de se libérer, au contraire, le plus possible de tout ce qui tendait à détourner leur esprit et leur tâche capitale. Uh, very important. Let me go back. In sending missionaries to distant countries, those men should be se- it says those men should be selected who know how to um, economize, uh, who have not large families, and who, realizing the shortness of time and the great work to be accomplished, okay, will not fill their hands and houses with children, but keep themselves as free as possible from everything that will divert their minds from their one great work. So if you want to be a missionary, you want to go do the mission work, she said it's, it's easier for you if you don't have children. I said, children. Because he dit realizing that the shortness of time and the great work to be accomplished, they will not fill their hands with children. So, again, if you're trying to... You know, if you feel like, you know, God is calling you to do missionary work, to go help out other people, then if, if you don't have children, she's saying it's, it's, it's better. That's all so. Okay? All right, we're almost done here. Well, we have a few more slides to go. Mais beaucoup d'entre elles qui pourraient accomplir un travail missionnaire considérable doivent rester chez elles pour s'occuper des enfants. It says, but many who might be efficient laborers are kept at home to take care of the little ones. Beaucoup de missionnaires sont engagés alors qu'ils ont charge de, fa- de famille. Ils ne peuvent donc se vouer entièrement à leur travail. Leur esprit se, leur esprit se trouve partagé. Many who have uh, families go out to labor but they do not give themselves entirely to the work. The minds are divided. La femme et les enfants leur détournent de, de leur activité et souvent même les empêchent d'entrer dans, les, dans des champs qui les sollicitent en les gagnant à l'idée qu'ils doivent rester près de leur famille. So wife and children draw them from their labor and often keep them out of the field, out of fields that they might enter were not that they think they must be near the home. So I cause pas for our son to for couple de famille. So I would have a non champ while they arrive and then even it's going to be difficult. So nous est sur le travail missionnaire. So if you're looking to do missionary work, then it says it's best not to have uh, the little ones because that uh, is very difficult. It's even people who are going to go because they have to keep a watch on the family. Sometimes the, the, the minds are divided. They're not uh, uh, 100% in the work. All right? So this is it, saints. We ask you clearly what you say to us. Nous qui conseillons bah nous pour que sous affaire et la et famille nous en fait tout monde et sur nous est clair tout bagarre est supposé faire pour gloire à bon Dieu et là on connaît gain un peu de questions so uh, this is the this is the time that we have questions now if you have questions you let me know I will let you talk you can talk now au cas plus et toi aussi uh not telephone one press star six uh if you call the number if you call the number press star six and i'll let you talk but if you're using the app you know it's easier you would just 
hit the little question button. I we have a well, I have a brother that I have something I wanted to say, but moving, but I think I lost him. Uh, let's see. Okay, Brother Ovin. Hi, Carly. Oh, Carly, how are you? Good, and you? Good, 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 good. By the grace of God, we are doing well. Amen. Um, well, my question is, earlier you said that don't have kids if you um, pretty much can't raise them righteously. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, God gives kids, right, from my understanding. So how do you make that call, I want kids or I don't want kids? Because me personally, I didn't want kids, but I ended up with kids. Mm-hmm. All right, very good question. I think it's best if I go back to the slide. Um, I'm going to go back. To, um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and go back to uh, that particular slide so we can read it. Because that's a good question. She says, il dit qu'il connaît ce bon Dieu qui Timoun. Et nous autres, il a à l'heure, côté, il dit que si on n'a pas à lever Timoun, il y a bien, il dit qu'on n'a pas à faire. Uh, how do you reconcile these two things? Let me see if I can um, go back to the slide that talks about that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, there it is. There it is, um, uh, Sister Carly. If you have the screen, you will see it. It says, Fathers and mothers, when you know that you are deficient, and the knowledge of how to train your children for the master. Why do you not learn your lesson? Why do you continue to bring children into the world to swell the numbers of Satan's rank? So, it continue. You go to the call D. There, let me read that one. If you do not go, uh, govern your children and, and mold their characters to meet the requirements of God, then listen to this. Then the fewer children that are to suffer from your defective training, the better it will be for you. The parents, the the parents, and it will be better for society. So if you have the less children, if you if you are defective in your training, okay. So second lacune, second lacune na education. So le plus bon souffert moins parce que c'est moins tout le monde qui a souffert de lacune ou ou les vous faire plus plus pour souffrir de uh, from your um, defective training. So um, the question was, c'est bon qui buy How do you um, how do you uh, reconcile this? So anybody can help me here. Anybody? Because I read this, but I, at the same time, I'm going to question uh, uh, No, let me just mute this. Yes, anybody uh, here? Want to chime in and ask if I go on to you and and then you and I and then and then you and and then you and then Yes, Sister Gina, can you hear? Uh, oui, bon. Bonsoir. Ok. C'est bon Dieu qui m'a petit vraiment. Mais est-ce que nous-mêmes, nous n'avons pas de contrôle pour faire petit nous? Est-ce que parce que c'est bon Dieu qui a qui m'a petit nous qui a nous dire ok, nous font 12 ans de monde, alors que nous n'avons pas de bah, éducation, nous n'avons pas de supposé bah, et nous connaissons Jantan et Yekounia. Donc, bon, c'est même si c'est bon Dieu qui bat tout le monde, nous même nous gagnons contrôle, nous tout pour nous connaître, mais qui quand c'est tout le monde n'a pas. Et ça me fait okay. comprendre. All right, thank you very much. So, uh, uh, Sister a dit que, uh, she said that even though we know it's God who gives to children, you know, a lot of time they know that always, you know, we know that God gives children, but we need, tonight we need to break this down. To see that, what does that mean? When you say God gives children, what, what does that mean? Because nous tout qui sont les noms, qui c'est grand monde, nous tout content de monde dit ça. And we probably said it too. And we know it's a true statement that like God actually gave children. It's a bon petit monde. 
Bon, avant nous break it down, let me take brother Sammy. Brother Sammy. Uh, yeah, uh, good evening, everybody. I, I don't have a question, but I was just thinking about the question that she asked. Uh, yes, God gives children. Um, pourquoi ça, ça c'est juste? Parce que bon, de prononcer, uh, God pronounced the blessing. So when God speaks something, it's going to happen. Now let's go away from the from the church, right? Let's say like whoever's out there. You know, it, something has to happen for them to have children. You know, um, you know, when the male and the female come together, um, they'll they'll be having children. You know, that's just because God pronounced it. Whatever comes out of the mouth of God, it stays just like the grass always grow, the plants, uh, all these things. You know, and that's going to keep happening. But the council is just telling us how to deal with um, with that. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, um, people are going to keep multiplying the earth because God spoke it. Okay, so so that has to do with the power in God's words, the creative uh. power. You know, but it it doesn't mean that uh, you know we we can't you know in in, in some some kind of way um, uh, control you know. Because that's what the council is saying. The council is just telling us how to best uh, um, uh, um, go about doing these things. You know, having children. You know, and 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 how spiritual we need to be. Uh, um, if we're not ready to have them, don't have them. It, it, that's what it's saying. But it's not saying that um, it has nothing to do with God telling us to have them. We, we can have them. Brother Mark said that. You know, it, that it, the council is not telling us not to have them, but to have them. There's a certain way, a certain attitude we got to, we have to have. We have to be spiritual to have them. We have to be um, able to raise them, to train them up according to God's word. That's that's really what it is. Yes, thank you, and, and, and thank you very much, um, brother Simon. You make some. You make you raise a very good point that I was not I was not thinking about. Um. Bon Dieu, by habilité pour nous faire tout le monde. Au quoi vous avez C'est ok, ok. Bon, je vais mettre clair toujours ça pour les amis à dire. Bon, bah nous exemple. Bon, là bah exemple parfois bah un pic là. Ok. Bon Dieu gagne des lois naturelles. Ok. On loi naturelle dit souffre en gasoline ou par son allumette ou mettez allumette dans la gasoline et nous obtient du feu. Ça, c'est une loi naturelle. That's a natural law que bon Dieu établit. OK? Ou pour gasoline, ou mettre à l'imètre là-dedans, la bombe du feu. Ça, c'est une loi naturelle qui est établie. All right? But, do you have, but bon Dieu voulait pour nous contrôler. Bon Dieu, pas pour marcher la gasoline et, et, et everywhere. Et then, pour dire qu'on s'en c'est bon Dieu qui fait du feu. Non, c'est pas bon. Bon Dieu, bon habilité pour faire du feu. Hein? Mais, ou qu'à contrôler. Bon Dieu, pas dire qu'on tomber la gueule du feu everywhere. So the council is telling us the the um, the requirements that uh, que nous t'as supposé gagner avant que nous pensions à cette monde. Vous comprenez? So la conseil là qui est bien c'est que gagner des um, uh, des fonctions pour qu'ils remplit avant que nous t'as pensé à cette monde. Mais habilité pour cette monde, non, mon Dieu déjà bien nous lit. Bon Dieu, tu déjà bailli nous dans le pouvoir. Bon Dieu, il bailli nous habilité pour faire tout le monde. So, ça, c'est, parfois, je me dis, on always hear people say, well, bon Dieu, bailli, bon Dieu, bailli. Oui, we know that. God gives the ability to have children. Mais c'est pas bon Dieu qui bailli dans le sens que si on dit, on a besoin de faire un lama sans nous dire. De me suivre, c'est bon Dieu qui bailli, m'a obligé de la faire. Et même pour tout le monde, on a souffert. Et maintenant, pour agrandir l'armée, Satan, si on va enlever tout le monde, ça va bien. So I think it's clear. I don't know uh, uh, si il fait sens. Let me look at uh, Sister Carly. You te pose the question. Hein? I don't know if if it makes sense to you. If you have mm-hmm. something else you want. Um, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. All right. Huh? Okay. Praise, praise the Lord. All right. Um, anybody else? Any any other questions? 
si nous ne pas poser question, nous ne pas poser une question. Ouais. Parce que nous avons une question. Ouais, mais... <laughs> Any, anybody, anybody, uh, whether it's, uh, it, it might be something else you have in mind, we, 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 we'll try to talk about it. But uh, any questions for uh, for tonight, for our topic tonight? Uh, or is it maybe sujet en clair, you know, tout le monde comprend. Parfois, ça qu'on y veut, côté que tout le monde comprend le sujet, hein, sujet en clair. Et pour le monde qui vient en retard, I'm going to give you a resume for you when you ask the question. Okay? So tonight we study about the size of the family. You know, um, when we should decide to have children, that was the, um, the, the bulk of the study tonight. Uh, what, what is the prerequisite to having children? And we saw that as parents, we must be mature, we must be spiritual, and Economically speaking, we must be um, in a situation, in a position where we can um, uh, we can feed our children, so that we don't have a burden for the church and we don't have a burden for uh, family members. But for because you have to go to work, you have to do this. Now you have to like get someone like a grandma or be something like a like a or something. So it is how we for to attention for we not to be a fado for lot of And it did also that for me, it did did also see again for me, we felt that you have a lack in education. You have a lack in. You are lacking the the, the right training. So you're not going to be able to provide that to your children. It says it's best not to have children if you don't have the, the right training. Because if you raise a children, if you raise these this children, and no pas bien, what's happening is you are helping Satan. Because these children, with those bad habits they have, they will go and share these bad habits to other children. And then Satan will have an army. That's what he was telling us. So we must be careful. And uh, uh, so we heard the question that she asked. We got the answer. Anyone else? Anybody? Anyone, anybody? Okay. So nobody has any questions. I have a question. I'm posing a question for everyone who is on the line. And I'm souhaiting that we have more answers. So uh, well, we're just going to make it plain. You know, we, you know, we are, we are, uh, uh, we are all brethren here on the line. So we're just going to make it plain. And he said, go and get Sulin now. So we're just going to make it plain. We're going to keep it, of course, PG-13, like they say in the world. But we'll make it plain. So question, what about birth control? Um, uh, should Is it something that we should get engaged in? Or is it something we should not? I mean, if you don't have, uh, you know, you probably... You, you, we're probably not going to have answers straight from the Bible on this one, but we need to put our common sense together because the Bible says in the book of, um, I believe, Isaiah 1.8, come and let us reason together. So let's reason together tonight. What about birth control? Um, what, I mean, uh, 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 low, in the light of what we just studied, okay? Not to sound, everything that we just studied in the light of that, um, Okay, I have well, I have somebody I want to say something on in regards to that. So let me let them, uh, let me let them talk. But before, let's just make it clear. The question is, what up, what about birth control? Is this something that as Christian we should be engaged in, or do you believe we should not? And and listen, saints, when we answer these questions, I want to I want to make sure that we are aware of the sensitivity of the. Uh, question or of the matters or of the matter at hand that way we can know how we're going to approach it how we're going to talk about it because a lot of time we don't want to hurt other people that's not our uh, object here on this study we want to see we want to come together and so um i, I see 
uh, I see your brother here, but I, I saw brother Oving. Let me take brother Oving, and then I see another brother uh, that I'm gonna take. But let's see, or well, it might be Sister Carly. Uh, could be Sister Carly, but either way, go ahead. Okay. Um, birth control. Hypocritically, I would have to say that um, I don't believe that we should, and I say hypocritically because I use a contraceptive to avoid having more children, um, but I think, you know, that is kind of like playing God under the notion of, you know, bon de ki moon. So when you're huh. blocking that by using contraceptive, you're not allowing the work to be done. If it's God's will for you to have more kids, you will, and if it's not, it, um, you won't. So, um, I don't think Christians should, but okay, guilty. All right, all right, all right. I'm I'm happy that you give your your uh, common sense, your point of view on that. So thank you very much. Um, I see Brother Dawson. Brother Dawson, you're gonna be next. Um, yeah. So she 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 tells us what she th- what she believes. Um, that uh, she doesn't think that we should go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and take Brother D. Here, well, maybe it's uh, our sister. Well, anyway, Fami Pierre. Hello, this is Sister Cherry. Um, How you doing? I'm well, praise the Lord. Uh, even though the Bible doesn't straightforwardly say um, we should or shouldn't use um, birth control, but there are some natural examples like the story of Hannah, for example, where God opened and closed her womb. And Mm -hmm. to me, that is a a symbolism of God's birth control in a sense where he has the power to open and close the womb for any um, man or woman that is married that wants Mm -hmm. to um, not pursue um, having children. And... um, I can attest to this because um, I'm I'm a firm believer that this prayer was not just for um, the birth of Samuel, but it's like an example for us women that are married to see that God is in control of us. We don't have to go to man to stop what would naturally happen if um, we didn't have the power of God, or to ask God to help us to stop um, something that is natural. And so um, I don't agree Christians should because um, in the pharmaceutical world, there's a lot of side effects to these um, control methods. And even the side effects will tell you, you know, you could even die from some of these things, not, um, you know, trying to... um, put fear in anybody, but, you know, these things you read about it because from my own experience, when I thought about um, a contraceptive, I seen how it could endanger me and the possibilities of you having a a child still through these form of contraceptive, your child could um, not be born properly or... um, Mm -hmm. Wow. They, in the uterus, in a sense, where you could have a, a child born outside of the uterus. You know, all these risk fa- factors are something that we must contemplate as God's people. And so I believe if women want to do birth control, they should put God to the, um, not to the test, but you should ask God in a sense where, Lord, you know, you said it in your word that, you know, um, that this is going to keep happening, but what is your what is your um what is your will for me and my family, you know? And if it's this, you know, close my room or open my room and I can, you know, attest to this because um I I had a certain disorder that permitted me not to have children and doctors said I couldn't have children and I'm blessed with five children and that is not my doing, but every time I ask God to bless me with a child, he blessed me with a child at that right time. And so um, that's just my personal um, side note to that. So I just wanted to All share right. that. 
Thank you. Uh, happy to hear from you, sister. You know, it's always always good to hear from you. Uh, so we're happy to have you tonight, tonight and happy to hear from you. All right. We have Brother, um, Brother Sammy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, about that question, Brother Mark, I think we need to... I mean, um, there's really no scripture for that, but uh, there's, there's a few verses in the Bible that, you know, we got to think of, you know, like when you take Romans 12, you know, not to be conformed, uh, like like this world, you, you know, to this world, like the Bible says in Romans 12, verse 2, uh, it says, um, and, be not, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Now, like Sister Terry was saying, this is something that we have to pray about. Not to pray, you know, if we should, ha you know, uh, take the birth control or not, but to pray that God stops, you know, uh, uh, the process of us, you know, uh, um, having babies if you don't want it. You know, you can pray about that, you know, but then again, it's, it's God's will, you know. If, if, if God wants to give you more more, more children, that's what's going to happen, you know. It, just because you pray for something, it doesn't mean you're going to get uh, the answer that you want, you know. It, it's always going to be um, God's way, you know. But we just need to keep in mind that um, if the world is doing this, we can't be doing it. Because the Bible says, you know, the world is empty against God. So we have to keep that in mind also, you know. And, and that works for, that goes for every little detail in our lives. The Bible says in Luke sixteen ten that if we're not faithful in, the, in those little, you know, the, the smallest things, we won't be faithful in the big things. You know what I mean? So, so we have to walk by every word. I mean, it may not have uh the bible may not have a, a verse there that that talks um you know strictly about that but i think the concept is there you know when we start putting a, a scripture together you know line up online and things like that well you know you, you you can you can see it there you know all right thank you for your input brother oh uh, brother sammy uh somebody was having trouble to hear you clearly so do me a favor if you have if you're able to um disconnect your disconnect to the line and then connect back in so go ahead and drop and then come back on that way if you have something further you want to say uh that people can hear you better okay so you can just go ahead and disconnect and uh, you can come back on in case you have uh, further um points that you want to make all right uh, um we have uh, two answers so far and um any anybody else uh, want to add to this the question was the birth control um how do we uh how does that work with the christian and we have so far uh two comments and we have another one uh fami oving well fami forest all right this is me oving um happy side of everyone Here's my um, thing I wanted to say. Um, go by your mom. I told you leave him alone. Go by your mom. My question was, um, not a question, but if, okay, God, yeah, God gives children, but we can control how many children we have. Um, wouldn't birth control be, be not the answer, but like one of the ways like someone could control how many they have? Is, um, is it, is it an actual sin for someone to do that? Okay, good question. And that's kind of like the same thing that we're we're trying to talk about. That's the same line that we've been discussing. <clears throat> uh, like, is it a sin to do this? It, um, well, let me put another twist to this. Because anybody that has something, please uh, feel free. Because we all want to make sure that we have some. We have a lot of people that's very quiet tonight. But we want to hear from everyone, um, and uh, and um, well, Pastor, my business Pastor too, Pastor Bogotando, 
Uh, um, 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 so, na besoin pour bay, pour bay nous, um, uh, peut-être parce que pas soulé na avec nous à Anyway, uh, asi, uh, sister, uh, sister Pierre, gen ou l'autre bagay le di. So, bon m'ki te le deal, then, I'll put a twist to, uh, to the question. Sister Pierre, well, family Pierre. Um, good evening again, and happy Sabbath. Um, the question, the answer that um, that came to my mind was the best birth control, in my experience, is self-control. And the reason why I say that is because um, when I study human anatomy, which prompted me to, because, you know, we got to be balanced, and we can't just say, well, um, we can just, you know, not be precautious. And we understand that when we study the woman's body, our, our bodies um, release the, the important factor, which is the egg, to, um, to be fertilized every 28 days. And for some women, it's different. So when we know these things, we can, we can cautiously do um, what they call natural birth control, where the days where you're ovulating or you're close to ovulating, you would um, resist the temptation to um, being one with your spouse. And, of course, that takes knowing these things and studying these things because um, from my own experience, I, in the very beginning, after I had my first child, I did take a birth control that almost cost me my life. And when I reflected on that, I'm not telling anyone to follow my steps, but it brought me to follow, okay, God, what you want me to do? Because obviously, these things are dangerous. But, I mean, you don't want me to be um, uh, intemperate and also um, a bad steward in bringing children, like he, his counsel says, more than I can bear, in a sense, having more kids than I can take care of, you know, and myself. So God brought me to do research and praying, and I found that, you know, um, there's other means where it will not put the chemical um, in your body where you can naturally know, okay, when the woman ovulates. And again, it, is, it takes patience and it takes uh, time, but, I mean, I think that's the lesson that God wants for us as his people of the last days, to be wise, where we know how our body works, when our body is, you know, ready to receive um, fertilization and all that, um, so that we can um, move uh, wisely in um, these things that God has for us to enjoy. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Pierre. Brother John. Yes, brother John, on m'a parlé. Salut tout le monde. So, on pensait que c'est un plaisir, on est capable de faire intervention ma soeur. Moi, t'as dit tout ça que dit, euh, moi, je voulais aller sur même lien avec euh, quelques monde euh, dans le groupe. Yeah. Ça, on pensait tout élément étranger ou mettez l'encore à lui permettre quoi pour fonctionner bien façon pour le fonctionner en parlant de bœuf control. À mon avis, il n'est pas bon. OK? Jean siste chez ce dit là ou qu'a font bœuf control naturel ou les nous étudier biologie ou capable comprendre toujours pour le faire ou toujours pour pas faire parce que euh ça son bail qui très clair au cas au calendrier au maquil OK vous connaissez que Madame ou ap ovile tel le, tel le, à partir de combien de jours ou kale, après ça l'école lage. Jou sa ou, ou sûr que, même que ou ale pas de gagne, ou kapap fel kon sa. M'pense que ça y pi bon sou ta fel d'une façon naturelle pour moi même. All right, thank you, brother John. Uh, appreciate the uh, intervention. Yeah. So, is anybody else want to say anything to this? Um, Sister, Sister uh, Eugene. 
Um, en question, qui concerne nous qui un monde qui pas gain période irrégulier. Um, conseil bote de jante ba la di il il travaille avec mon il il work with mon qui gain période irrégulier chaque 30 jours ça every 28 days parce que des mon qui gain période irrégulièrement si mon uh, si d'après opinion pas nous bœuf quand on pas bon qui concerne nous des un monde pour gérer mais nous fait petit dans sens ça les mon pas régulier bon bagaille au semble bagaille semble a vienne plus compliqué dans même là à <laughs> faire but uh, <laughs> eh, bon eh, so brother john uh, well, we heard what we heard what brother john said that he believes that we can use the um the monthly cycle of the the lady so we can kind of control things a little bit but then she said what about the people that have a um a monthly cycle that's not um regulated that's not regular like things can come different way different days this month it comes that you know things change so 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 you could change it from one month to another like how do you then uh comment faire ou gérer situation ça so bam kite john bam kite brother john répond question and then after that we have sister um cherry Yeah, pour me capable de dire moi pas un expert en biologie même parce que si d'autres fois où euh, tu as parlé avec un soyant professeur de biologie je pense que est capable d'expliquer assez bien même que euh, ou bon en période qui 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 pas stable euh, tout ça je pense que il y a une façon qu'à contrôler le tout ça so, c'est ça que je pense si d'autres fois tu right. monde qui qui connaît biologie l'a pas expliquer ça bien Thank you very much, brother. Uh, sister uh, Terry. Yes. Um, before I say what I have to say, um, I must put this out there. Um, as people of God, we must 100% trust the Word of God. And the reason why I say that is because I believe a lot of these um, illnesses that women suffer with irregular periods and uh, irregular um uh things that has to do with their cycle it has to do with diet and the reason why I say that is because I'm a living testimony of that um I have a background in having um polycystic ovarian syndrome which you don't have a, you could have your period not come at all and it just comes when it wants to pretty much and it creates a problem where you have several cysts on your um ovaries which prevent you know a woman knowing when she's supposed to have a cycle it just comes when it wants to pretty much um with that being said um before i knew the health message you know i had severe um period pains cramps you name it and it in my period was not a something that was consistent and so when i learned about you know the plant based diet all that not immediately but with time and um doing justly as what god wanted me to do and praying um god healed me and i was able to have a regular period where i know when i'm ovulating and when I'm not ovulating. And of course it goes more deeper than that. You have to, you know, study your body out and sit with someone who probably knows it better than you. I actually took a class with natural birth control and seeing how it works. And that's why I'm knowledgeable for myself. But um I really believe that um when God gave the command to his people, if we didn't want any of these diseases to fall on us, you know, we must go back to his blueprint and I'm paraphrasing we must go back to what he has stated in his word and by thus we will be able to see the changes that are supposed to be when they are supposed to be and we won't have the hormonal problems where they're in balance and it's a lot it's, it's about you know learning how your body works um and um if it's not working properly 
ascertaining the cause, why is it not doing this, why is it not pro working properly. And many women, we believe that having pains with our period is associated to the curse that was given in Genesis, but that's far from it. You know, we're supposed to experience pain only through birth, but not during our monthly cycle. So that's just something that we need to go back and figure out, okay, Lord, um, why is my body like this? And once we establish that and we move forward, he will meet us and show us. And we will receive healing because I'm a testimony. I receive healing. So um, I believe it has to do with diet. And once we um, uh, establish our problems with that, then I believe God will continue to show you, um, you know, the, the natural process of your body. It will come back to what it's supposed to be. All right. Thank you very much. No uh, appreciate sir. So, uh, again, uh, she said that it's just a matter of trusting God and that God can heal us. And a lot of times it's because of uh, um, the diet, our diet. Parfois, on a un influence sur l'irrégularité que nous sommes censés trouver dans ce sens. Now, Pour nous donner des réponses, moi, par exemple, je vais une question à soi, je vais continuer à la question. Et oui, si vous avez quelque chose que vous voulez dire, juste laissez-moi savoir, je vais vous parler. Donc, nous devons... Alors, laissez-moi voir, je vais essayer de trouver la meilleure façon de poser cette question. Et c'est la même question, je vais juste donner un autre twist. Uh, so we need. Was there, is there any other methods at all that we can think of that would not be contrary to um, that we wouldn't think is contrary to the to the um, to the natural uh, way of doing things? For example, uh, a condom. What do you What do you guys think? What do you guys believe? Um, do you think this is uh, probably the same thing as the birth control? Or do you think that's uh, more acceptable, or do you think that's not acceptable at all, like a condom, you know, a curl, you know, it didn't So, uh, uh, I don't know uh, what you guys think. And while you're thinking about that, let me ask this. Uh, is there a self-control issue here like my question what i'm thinking what i'm what i'm thinking is and then and, and, and you help me out here because I, I i need help with this and I, I need some answers uh should we then only have sexual relations for have to have children uh, what do you guys what do you guys believe should we gen, should we okay it is the sexual relations between a man and a and a, and a wife is that then strictly for uh is that then strictly for uh, uh uh the purpose of having children so if we plan on having children then we go ahead and and do what we do but if we don't want have don't want to have children don't do nothing is this something that we 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 can Talk about it. Well, what do you guys think? And um, uh, while you're thinking about that, there's another question. So we'll take the questions, and you guys can answer to anyone you want. Uh, Sister Cherry has a question. Yes. Go um, ahead. Hello? Yes, hello? she can talk to you. Yes, um, we hear you. Um, I guess um, to answer the first question that you said, um, is it, um, okay for the male to wear a, a contraceptive, I would call it. Um, I would say um, yes. The reason being is, um, and I could be wrong. The reason being, it has, it has, um, it doesn't interfere with um, the the natural. Um, um, it doesn't have any side effects to what I can say that would harm 
the human body. And that's why I'm looking at it. If it's going to harm you, then um, I don't think God will be glorified in that. But I could be wrong, but I, I think um, there's nothing wrong for the male to wear um, a condom. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you, sister. So, uh, yeah, any, any, anybody else want to chime in? And let me add this to it, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember the term, the English term for it, but I only know the, I only, I only, I, somebody mentioned it to me, but I, I forgot the term, the English term, but I know the, the, the Creole term. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sit in Creole. You know, a lot of times the, the 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 language, the Creole language, it, it sounds not the nicest way when you say it in Creole. I don't know why, <laughs> but nevertheless, it's still a language. It, it just sounds different when you say it in, in Creole. I, I wish I had remembered how to say it in English, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it in Creole. So, uh, what what about if the Sigason Shatri? What do you got to think? All right, Brother Oving. Yes, go ahead. Um, personally, shot, not, I mean, personally, and um, if, if you're looking at nature, I mean, God made you this way, but you want to take away from it or because you don't want to have kids, you know, and it, it's natural for you to have kids, you know. Um, what if you're married? And then that would be selfish on your part. Let's say the wife agrees um, that you get shot of it or whatever. Um, I think it's still, it, it would still be against the will of God for somebody to get shot of it. And now... Um, the other uh, earlier you asked a question. You said, "Is it um, regarding self control? If if you don't plan on having children, should you not have sex?" Um, I don't think so. Um, I mean, when when God, I think God made Adam. He looked at him and said, "You know what? It wasn't good for men to be alone for many reasons, various reasons. You know, a companion, a helper, and." And and, and, and and right in the day, he married them right after he was done. Married them. Hey, and told them to go ahead and multiply. Yes. I think with the sex where you can have sex, not not because you want kids, but to enjoy, for a husband and wife to enjoy one another, in my opinion. All right. Thank you. Um, Brother John has something. Go ahead. Yeah. Mon ka konn pou gen fami so a yo ka realize yo gen trop trop ti moun et puis pou gars garçon choisi pou le capable camper tête li. Pou moi même m pa wè sa son bonne idée. Parce que bon Dieu fò yon fason ou ou choisi pou pou rete tête ou pour pou pa fè ti moun. Tout bay yo se kontrol yo. OK? Euh, ou ka essaye kontrole on se de situation. A di ou gen madame ou ou fè trop ti moun, ou ka kontrole l, za fè sex la ou ka son ou ka mete kontrol, pa ki se sex la ki kontrole ou, men pre, de préférence ou même ki kontrole relation sexuelle la, se sa ki m'pense. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, brother John. Yes. Uh I I, I agree, I agree with the notion that it, it, we need to uh Something that we got to be able to control, you know, that we got to control that. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's very important that uh, that we have control over that and that it doesn't control us. Anybody has anything else? Uh, now, Sister Cherry, you said you had a question. I know you had answer. Well, hold on. Before you, let's, uh, let's take Sister um, uh, Eugene. Sister Eugene. 
it's not a question. It's just the word um, shot. It, it, the word in English is vasectomy, I believe. So I just oh, want to yeah. the word is vasectomy. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds familiar. That vasectomy. Yeah, somebody had mentioned that to me. Thank you. That's all you had. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, anybody? Anybody have um, have anything else? Anybody? Well, sister, Cher- uh, sister Cherry. Like I said, I you did say that you had a question, but wait. Well, I think she. Uh, I think we might have lost her. Let's see. Yeah, well, yeah. Sister Cherry, you did mention that you had a question, but you and when you came on, you answered my question. So I'm wondering, do you have a question? Like, do you have another question? Go ahead. I don't have any questions, Brother Mark. Oh, Brother Dawson. How are you, sir? With a vasectomy, I don't think um, any man should do that because, for example, you marry, right? and you and your spouse decide not to have children, and you end up having a vasectomy down the line, a couple of years down the line, and she changed her mind. So what are you going to do? <laughs> you know, yeah. A friend of mine who had a vasectomy, now they wish they had they, they have so much children. Now they can't because the wife can, but the husband can't can't because he had a vasectomy. So now, what do you do? So I don't think it's wise for any man to have that. That's why that self-control comes in. You have to be able to control yourself, even when it comes to sexual um, um, activity with your with your spouse. It's self-control. Right, right, right. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so uh, we we nous tendez toute réponse you. Uh, so far, with the post, my time deal. Uh, second, majority, uh, I'm, I'm sure the majority of the people who are talking about the overwhelming um, viewpoint is is the uh, birth control is not something that's natural, it's not of God. But uh, they don't believe that uh, we should be getting involved in it. And, but I remember Sister Kendra said something about if we don't use, if let's say you don't do, you know, you, you're trying to control things, but you don't do the birth control. Is there any other way other than, I know we mentioned about the, uh, the condom, okay? But is there any other means that whereby we can control uh, not to have children. I know Brother John mentioned um, for us to keep an eye or to con- um, we can use the uh, the uh, monthly cycle of the lady so we know exactly when uh, of the wife so we know when to and when not to. But I know he mentioned that. So I- anybody can think of anything else, any other uh, way or any other um, method that we can use or or that you think might be approved of God uh, in that sense? Or is it, is it strictly a matter of you controlling things? Anybody want to chime in? Anybody want to? Uh, somebody that probably that haven't talked or uh, what do you guys think? What are you guys thinking? If you have any other questions too about other su- uh, subject, you know we can talk about them. But um, if not, then then if you guys don't have any other questions, then we'll go ahead and and uh, conclude for tonight. Unless you have other questions that you know, then we'll continue. But if not, we'll go ahead and um, and put an end to our study tonight. Anything, guys? Any other counsels um, that you'd like to share with us?
Well, this is a very important topic, and um, I praise God that uh, for all of you that came on tonight. It is a very interesting topic. So, Brother Siami has something. Go ahead, Brother. No, it's just, it's just a question I have. Can you all hear me fine now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we read a lot tonight, and, and it, it's kind of heavy on some people, myself included. Um, does Spirit of Prophecy talk about, like, a solution to, to this? I mean, I know we've been trying to, you know, reason, share ideas on here, but now what does the Bible or the Spirit of Prophecy say about all these things? Is there anywhere in the councils that we have, um, you know, that, that kind of um, tell us uh, how to avoid having, you know, uh, uh, kids when we're not ready to have them? if we don't feel ready to have more. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. We hear the question. Um, From what we read, um, she was strictly talking about, you know, don't do this, don't don't have, if you cannot raise them. But I I, I don't believe that we saw any um, practical example on how to go about it and not to, like, what to do to avoid uh, not having any more children. I don't, I don't believe, maybe I missed it or if somebody else picked it up, but I don't remember. Sister, uh, Sister Eugene has something. I don't know if maybe she has an answer to this. Go ahead, Sister. Um, well, it's not to his question, actually. It's just back to the question he asked earlier. If there is, if there are any other way we could avoid having children if we're not ready, you know the the condom part is a good idea because, like the uh, sister said, it doesn't affect her health. And the other way we could also avoid that. Um, I don't know the best way to put it, so I'm just gonna say it like that. So basically, before you reach the happy ending, you could just remove it. That's that's the other way you could avoid having children if you're not ready or if you feel like you know you're not prepared, I guess. So for me, this is the, the two ways we could avoid having children that doesn't affect our, our health. It's either through condoms or through remove, removal before a happy ending. I'm, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. All right. Thank you very much. Um, now, with that particular point, I know somewhere in the Bible, now, I know in Palakit, Brother John Pali, um, but I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I was reading somewhere in Genesis where they get on monsieur. You know, back in the Bible time, si par exemple, on mari mouri, li pa de gitan gen pitit, fok fre a marie a madame non, pou mad, pou fe pitit a madame non, pou ke le fe pitit pou, so they can keep the name, so the name of the, the husband that died, so that name doesn't, uh, there was a case like this in the Bible where a guy they gon fre fre en mourir et puis Monsieur pour Monsieur Maria Madame là et puis Monsieur rentre dans relation à Madame là. But while he was doing what he's doing and exactement sa sister se dit hein, when the time come he he pull out he did it on the floor. And Bonjour was very, God was not pleased with what he did. Now, we, we must put everything in context, okay? We must put everything in context. That's why I need to find it so I can have a better understanding of what's the reason God would got displeased. Was it because he didn't want to have children for the, the dead uh, brother? Or is it due to the fact that he did it on the floor? Was that the reason? why God was not uh, pleased. So I'm, uh, I have two guys who want to talk. I'm going to let them talk. Then I'm going to look for that particular scenario where the guy did it on the floor as opposed to put it in a way that it Brother John first and then Brother, well, Fami Foris second. Yeah, we played some of the second class of the so, I want to make sure that the Gion is the only prix and ejaculation. So, I want to make sure that the Gion is the only prix and ejaculation. Okay. Now, 
façon ça mon n'a qu'à assez facile et ensuite euh, pas quoi les euh, nécessaire pour yon partenaire fait yon éjaculation à à l'air libre à dire ou juste au fait éjaculation de yon parce que le pas bon pour pour garçon All right, thank you. So, Brother John, uh, Brother John said there is something called uh, pre, uh, pre, pre ejaculation, côté que même lui même tout cas cause fille enceinte. So, que ou pas ta ejaculé ou que ou ta ejaculé dehors, then pre ejaculation car still fait fille enceinte, Madame non enceinte. And he dit que lui prend pas, he doesn't think it's it's uh, too good for the husband to do that. Uh, like to do it like outside, in a way. So, brother, Ovi. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah. Earlier you said um. Um. About the uh, back in the Bible time, when the wife dies, the um, brother is supposed. I mean, the husband is supposed to go on and marry the sister. Not um. Yes, the, it's the sister. You said the um, wife. He's supposed to marry the sister, sister, and you have kids through the sister um, for um, for the for the wife. Now, I think that was that I I think that was a special case um, in that in that, in that situation because that was that that's how it was. I don't believe it's this way now. You don't if your wife died, you don't have to marry your sister. I mean, her sister right now. It's not like that anymore. So I think it was a special case. And um, and then what are the um, consequences when um, the brother, he just said it, but you got to share. What are the consequences when you do pull out, you know, as um, when a man ejaculates? What are the consequences? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, when God was displeased, this, this guy did it in the Bible, but he was displeased. We, we need to know why God was displeased. Was it because he, he, he pulled out, or was it because his intention was, I'm not going to have children for my brother? We need to know which one was, or what was the reason that God was displeased. So, but I don't know the consequence. Uh, Brother John said, And, 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 Oh, by the way, we're talking about uh, uh, the, the, the size of the family uh, and where we can say that we're going to have a family that we're going to have a family that we're going to have a family. That's cool. This is my kid's car. I don't know. I don't know um, the, uh, the reason, Brother Oving. I don't know what the effect of this is. I don't know the effect of this is. Pull out, I don't know. But um, anybody else? I, I was looking for the uh, for that particular uh, scenario in the Bible. Um, but yeah, any, anyone else uh, have anything? No, nobody has anything? Everybody's clear? So, oh yeah, Sister Kendra, you ha you did ask the question. Um, but yeah, but for your possible assignment, for question, for assignment, I mean, I don't, I don't have any. I, she, from what we read, she didn't give us any specifics as to how to go about avoiding it. She didn't give us any specifics, and you know, uh, I'm sure it's there somewhere. We'll find it. I'm sure it's in the. Because I know she speaks about everything. So I'm sure he's there somewhere, and we will find it. But um, I don't know of any uh, – I have not read anything at all yet where she gives us specifics on how to avoid – like what can you do to avoid having children? I, I have not read it. I have not come across that from the spirit of prophecy. But, Sister um, Eugene, can you ask question? Um uh, well, she was saying she think that could be that could be. Well, it wasn't a question. She was saying really two things that she think we can do to stop uh, to control it. So then we 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 uh, unless somebody else has something else they want to say, but unfortunately I could not find 
Uh, what I was looking for. Um, Brother Greg has something he wants to add. Brother Greg, good evening. Brother Mark, I think you're talking about um, Genesis chapter 38. 38, 38, 38. Thank you. Thank you. And I think um, it is, uh, starting from maybe um, verse... Let me see. Verse 10 says, And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. So, But before that tells you the whole context of the guy with the sister, and it says, um, and uh, it talks about the brother, and yet she again conceived, bare his son, and called his name. So um, 38, starting from verse 1, you can read that if you... Yes. Oh yeah, it is Genesis thirty eight. Thank you very much, um, brother. So yeah, let me read um uh, uh let me read this is uh, talking about Judah. Uh this is talking about Judah. Let's read from verse hmm. Let me start with verse two. It says uh Genesis thirty eight, verse two and Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shua, and, she, and he took her and went into her. And she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Ur. And she conceived again and bare a son. She called his name o Onan. And, yet, and she yet again conceived and bare a son and called his name Sheila. And he was at uh, Jezib when she, when she bare him. Verse 6 says, And Judah took, took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. So Judah had, uh, his first son, was his name was Ur, and then he had a wife named Tamar. And then Ur was wicked, so God, well, it says God slew him. That's another topic. We know when it says God slew him, we know what happened. Uh, so then, verse 7 says, And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. And Judah said unto Onan, Go unto thy brother's wife, and marry her, and raise up seed to thy brother. And verse 9 says, And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass, when he went into when he went in unto his brother's wife, he spilled it on the ground, lest he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. So uh, that's, that's, that's the, uh, the episode that I was referring to. Thank you very much, Brother Greg, for helping me out here. Uh, so we see, like I said, we see this, but it's, uh, it looks more to me like he didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to, uh, uh, to do that because he didn't want the wife to be pregnant. And because he, the, the ver verse 9 says, verse 9, I think is the key. Verse 9 says, and Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And he came to pass when he went after when he went into her, uh, he he spilled outside because he you know he felt like nah this baby is not gonna be my baby it's gonna be for my brother he doesn't wanna do it but the thing displeased the Lord so I think it's because of the fact that he didn't wanna raise up the seed for the brother and he did it outside that's what the displeased the Lord I don't think it's the virtue of him doing it outside that. That displeased the Lord per se, but it's the fact that he didn't want to raise up seed to his brother. That's my personal belief. But um, if anybody has something else, we can. That's really the only thing close to that I find in the Bible. I'm sure there are other things that I don't know in the Bible on that topic. I'm sure there are some other uh, counsels, but that's the one I find the closest. But um, which I think still kind of 
leave us in the dark a little bit <laughs> because it's not answering exactly what we are looking for as to uh, if you do that, is it wrong? If you do it outside, is it wrong? All right, guys, uh, anything else? Any last-minute questions? Any um, concern that we didn't address? I know some people got on it kind of late, but uh, uh, we... If you have something, you have questions, you can, you know, you can press the, uh, uh, you can let me know, and I will let you talk. If you have something you want to say. Now, I know there is a sister um, that tells me that she always wants to say something, but for some reason, uh, she's not getting, when she's using the app, she's not getting the... Uh, the little question mark on her phone to ask the question. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute her line. Uh, Sister Simera, I'm going to unmute your line in case you have something you want to say. Because uh, for the past few studies, you've been wanting to ask questions or say something, but uh, you've never been able to do so. So I'm going to unmute your line right now, and you tell us if you have something you want to share or you want to say. Yes, sister, do you have something at all? Any questions? Because I know you know you have trouble uh, letting us know when you have questions. Do you have something? Anything? You or Brother uh, Simera? Anything? Yes, good, good evening. Good evening, Brother. Um, no, I mean, I didn't really want to talk, but um, my wife gave me the phone. Uh, basically, what um, what I was thinking is that um, it was a custom of the of the of the time uh, the tribe of Judah. That was his custom. That was what you know. That that was a thing that he you know, that the Lord impressed upon his heart to do um, to continue the lineage of whoever had a, uh, a husband that died or whatever, and the next son was to be the one that raised up seed after him because um, I don't see that it's, a, it's, it's a, you know, pertaining to the point that he, is, he sinned against God, but I think it was a custom. That was the thing that he was supposed to do. And so because he refused to continue the lineage and 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 also I mean, it it seems to be like his heart was kind of you know wicked in a he, way that he did not right. want he did not want to uh, to continue the lineage for his brothers. So that's in the context I see that the Bible has it. Right, right. That's what I thought. That's 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 kind of like what I get when from reading it. Thank you, brother. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. But um, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for for sharing with us. Uh, let's see, ten ten fifteen. Anything questions or comments or anything else before we close, Saints? Let me tell you that this study tonight, I enjoyed it and I learned it a lot. I learned a lot from this study tonight. I praise the Lord. And uh, let's continue to study, you know. Let's continue to study because uh, I really believe that, you know, the Word of God has everything that we need. It's just a matter of us taking the time and looking into it. All right. So um, uh, if there's nothing else, we'll go ahead and uh, conclude. And I thank you all um, for your presence tonight. Thank you for your input. Um, may the Lord bless you. And those that had questions, I pray that those questions were answered. And if you continue to have questions, you can um, send them to the group chat that we have for the Bible study on WhatsApp, and uh, we can do our best to kind of answer your questions there. All right? So thank you all for your presence. Let's go ahead and say a little prayer so we can um, put an end to our study tonight. Eternal Father, we thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for bringing us together tonight to study. You make it plain to us, Lord. We thank you, Lord. As we now depart from one another, may your holy angel still be with us. And may we have a good night of sleep and wake up tomorrow and go to church and be a blessing to others. 
Please be with us now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you, everyone. Happy Sabbath. God willing, next Friday uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you. Happy Sabbath.